What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I wanna do a follow-up video to this video that I uploaded yesterday. There's been a ton of buzz around this video. You guys really liked it. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers who joined, who saw uh, this video and subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, before I get this video started, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more content. I'm gonna continue talking about the topics that you wanna hear about. I'm also gonna start doing disc reviews again and throwing tutorials. So if you like any of those things, subscribe to the channel. The first thing that I wanna talk about, I wanna address Simon Lazat's comment. Uh, I think this is a really intelligent comment and I think this gives a really great perspective on the other side of the argument, the four ball golf course argument. And this is what Simon had to say. Paul is right, but there's always just so much more that goes into these events than most of us realize. I love wooded golf too, but it's so bad for live spectating, it really hurts an event. You can only have that many people on a technical track because the holes everywhere are limited views for people. On a golf course, you can bring thousands of people and that can change everything. It means money for the event, more professional feel, and it's also fun to play. The Portland Open was about to be canceled and this was a last minute rescue plan. The designer had less than a weekend to design the course. It's definitely not ideal, but it's all right. The Pro Tour is very aware of what is happening and is listening to the players and fans. The pandemic made things extremely hard to even have any tour going on. Everything will be getting better and I don't think we need to worry about disc golf moving away from technical disc golf courses. It'll take some time to get the perfect hybrid courses and money. We'll get there, beer emoji. So Simon, I really appreciate the comment. If you don't follow Simon's channel, it's one of it's the best disc golf YouTube channel that's not a, a post-production coverage channel. Simon's channel is the best disc golf channel that's not a post-produced coverage, you know, pro tour channel. Simon Lazat is a really solid YouTuber. Go subscribe to his channel, again, if you're not already subscribed. So thanks again to Simon. Now, Foundation Disc Golf chimed in on this. Brody also chimed in on this, and Paul also did a follow-up post to this. Um, We'll do this first because this pertains to the other stuff. So I wanna make sure people don't take the matter too jokingly. And sometimes when you know influential people like Brody, who have millions of followers, everybody who plays disc golf has eyes on this guy. Sometimes things can head in the wrong direction. So hopefully they continue to take this topic seriously because ultimately, you know, we all want the same thing for disc golf. We all want disc golf to grow. We want the pro players to be happy playing on the pro tour. We want the people who are running the pro tour events to make money, have spectators and get everything you want. And then we also want the film production companies to actually be able to come out and film these events, be able to move around the course. And golf courses do really offer a unique perspective of disc golf that we don't always get to see in the woods. So let's just watch Brody's story. This is 23 hours ago. It's about to expire. Let's have a listen personal message that you all are seeing as well because we think it's a great idea hunter we want the next foundation shirt to say discs are made to roll i don't know if paul wants the emojis in there or not i'll put the emojis right here Me and paul we're just having some fun on the course today because this this is another course that you will see a lot a lot of rollers being thrown off the tee and we were just like maybe discs are made to roll uh as just like a fun little thing but hunter made a sick grab the t-shirts are now available if you want one discs are made to roll uh i guess they are considered uh they put the hunter put it under at the ball golf tee so there you go you want to get a ball golf tee swipe up now so that's brody's perspective um i'm under the understanding that brody the shirt is very sarcastic and it's definitely a dig that like obviously discs were invented to fly they were not invented to roll and you know what, Paul and Brody, if you don't want to throw rollers, then don't throw rollers. And you can really start, you know, making a statement. You can wear these shirts and you cannot throw a single roller all weekend if you really don't want to throw rollers. So you don't have to throw rollers. You can throw air shots all weekend and nobody will complain about that and no one will have an issue with that. So I think the shirt's a bit sarcastic. I, I get it. I, it's a little bit funny. And I'm interested to see if I see anybody wearing this at the course or see, I'm, I'm sure they'll sell like uh, Foundation Disc Golf Brody and Paul are able to pretty much monetize everything. So I'm sure these will sell out eventually. Um, but yeah, go check out their website, check out the shirt. If you're interested, go ahead and buy it. I'm just on the fence as to how I feel about merchandising a controversial topic like this. And Paul did another post. He didn't recant what he said, but he had a follow-up statement as to, you know, his initial statements about ball, uh, ball, 
ball golf courses for disc golf versus wooded courses for disc golf courses. So there is a good little um, follow-up statement in here. Hole number 15. So Paul said, I know I, I know I said I'm tired of golf course a couple days ago, but I want to do a shout out to the Disc Golf Pro Tour for even getting us this event. If it makes you feel any better, I know it made me happy, but only one more golf course on my schedule. So with all that being said, he did actually shout out the Disc Golf Pro Tour and you know congratulated them and thanked them for even allowing them to have this event to play in. Um, so I do think that was a good business move on Paul's behalf because we don't want it to seem like these guys are joking about a topic that affects our sport and affects our game that we all have come to love. And you know, we really like these players. We like Paul, we like Brody, and we like hot takes and controversial topics, but I also wanna see some seriousness taken behind these topics. Leave it in the comment section down below. Do you think they should monetize through Foundation Disc Golf? These discs were made to roll shirts. Do you think it's funny? Do you think I'm overreacting? I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. And definitely a huge shout out to the Disc Golf Pro Tour for giving us an event to watch. We're gonna obviously all enjoy the post-produced coverage. I'm gonna watch this event. I'm still gonna enjoy it. I'm still gonna interact with the content and I'm gonna do a post-event follow-up to go over the winners, who played well, who underperformed. And I definitely wanna follow up and do a Brody video, see how he played, see how many rollers he threw this weekend and see if he was able to you know, keep the disc in the air or if he was putting it on the ground and rolling it a lot. With all that being said, thank you for watching. This is Iceberg TV and take care.